In this quick video I'm going to hopefully show you how to fix this error invalid partition table on a Dell Latitude E7440 laptop. Ok, so let me give you all the informations. I booted from this USB drive on which I have Windows 8.1. I booted in UEFI mode, for uh, deleted all the partitions on the internal SSD, created new partitions, uh, it started to install, it copied files, it restarted and this is what I get. If I force it, for example, power it off, and power it on and press F12. So pressing F12 while it is uh, loading. I get to this and I force it to boot into UEFI. It will work normally. Let me simply show you. As you can see, Windows is loading. I'm not going to let it load. I'm going to force shut it down because I want to be able to run it normally not by pressing F12 and forcing it to boot into UEFI. So powering it on once again and press F2 to enter the BIOS. At this point you need to go a bit lower if I could actually see advanced boot options but the problem is that I have okay here first one sorry so you do not disable this don't disable it ignore me let me zoom in we are in the BIOS and you go to boot sequence and set it to UEFI and click apply and then exit and let it do its thing yes this is really dirty I'm working on it it will be a whole separate video where I clean it install windows whatever and as you can see it is actually booting and it is showing us our Dell logo because it is booting in UEFI which somehow connects the software with the hardware windows with the UEFI old BIOS yeah as you can see no more error and windows is actually loading so this is it for this video hopefully it also works for you in which case uh, please give this video a like check out my other videos maybe subscribe to my channel if you feel like it to support uh, future videos uh, just like this and as always See you in the next one. Bye.